this video, I'm gonna show you 10 Elvis songs that we can play with just three chords. All the chords in this video are gonna be very beginner friendly, uh, but all of these songs are based around just three chords, and I think that's a really powerful thing. Fantastic for you guys to learn if you wanna get a whole bunch of beginner friendly songs under your belt, but we're gonna be covering how to play these just like the original also. So grab your guitar, come join me, and let's have a look at our first song. So this is, of course, That's All Right, Mama, which is one of the first songs that Elvis recorded. And in the original key, it just uses the three chords, A major, D major, and E major. Now, if we're staying more strict to the original, it would be a D7 rather than a D major. And we can also go to that A7 before the change. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not counting the seventh chords as different chords. We're just counting them as the same because we can always play that same song without doing the seventh chords and it would still be correct. It would still be that song. So as a quick playthrough just to show you how we would do that, just strumming one bar per chord first of all. Well that's all right mama, that's all right with you. That's all right, mama, just any way you do. Well, that's all right. That's a D7 chord. That's all right. Then to E major. That's all right now, mama, any way you do. And the whole song is that chord progression. It's basically, it's based around a 12 bar blues, but it's actually just 10 bars. So it's a 12 bar blues without the turnaround. That's the change in this one. Four bars of A, two bars of D, two bars of E, finishing with two bars of A, and that's it at its most simplistic. Again, D7 if you want to add the extra complexity. And I'll quickly talk you through the strumming pattern of this song now, but if you want this in more detail and a further breakdown and a proper full lesson for this uh, song, I've done that already, you'll find it on my YouTube channel. I'll leave loads of helpful links down in the description below and I'll put all of this on one page on my website. If you're watching this video on YouTube, the link will be at the top of the description where we'll have chord sheets for all these songs and everything that you need linked all in one place. So the basic rhythm, is down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, and three, four, and per bar. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, two. That's the basics of it. That's certainly something to try if you're more uh, late beginner, early intermediate. If you're full intermediate player, you might be able to pick out the bass line. Kind of country style, go in string five, so the A root note, down up, and then st pick string six, down up. That is a little bit more complex, but you can see Elvis himself playing that exactly as I'm demonstrating here uh, in the 68 comeback special, which if you haven't checked out yet, you absolutely must. Again, I'll leave some links down in the description below. He plays this acoustically with Scotty Moore and all the, I guess the guys from the Men Memphis Mafia, as they used to be called. Um, it's a really fantastic thing. You can really see how amazing Elvis was, how charismatic, how good he sounded, just stripped back and playing with his buddies. It's really fantastic. Next up, we have Heartbreak Hotel, which I believe was Elvis's first number one single. It's in the key of E, it uses the chords E, A7, and B7. And it goes like this. Well, since my baby left me, while well, I found a new place to dwell, it's down on the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel, where I'll be. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely. I'll be so lonely, I could die. Really simple, we can add uh, the blues riff if you know it on that A chord, but it's still essentially an A or an A7. Uh, and there's a very easy solo for that. In fact, if you've never tried a guitar solo before, you can do a lot worse than trying out the Heartbreak Hotel solo. Really, really cool. I've got a full lesson for that on my uh, Andy Guitar YouTube channel. Again, links will be in the description. Let's move on to the next song now. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't enough. 
nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine This is, of course, hound dog. Now, I'm playing that with the capo third fret uh, with the chords uh, A, D, and E, basically putting it in a 12-bar blues chord progression, but this time in the key of A. Without the capo, the key is C, because of course, third fret kind of power chord is a C power chord. And actually, the original way to play that, just like Scotty Moore used to play, That's how Scotty Moore played this, and it actually uses kind of an E major shape, but moved up a string. So this would be the E major, move it up a string and over a fret, and this is a C major chord, but over G, when we're only strumming the thicker strings. Other chords, kind of G7 and F7, so still just three chords, and all of these are based, based around a 12-bar blues in whatever key they're in, so that's why they've got just three chords in them. And even the sliding up, I think you should really have a go for that one. We've got a full tutorial for that one, including the solo, but I've got a separate food tutorial. Food tutorial? I've got a separate tutorial for how to do this. You can even play the whole song with one finger. A5, D5, and E5. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You know, you can have some real fun with it. So that's how to play Hound Dog. Really rocking. Now, apparently, Hound Dog has been recorded over 250 times. Like, that's got to be a good song to have been recorded or covered by that many people. Uh, and it was originally released by Big Mama Thornton. Shout out to all the lady guitar players and female guitar players out there. Um, there's an inspiration from... Uh, the early 50s, I believe. I think that's really cool. The next song on my list is really similar to Hound Dog in that it's a, based around a 12-bar blues and it's a similar rock and roll vibe. This is All Shook Up. Now, this was written by Otis Blackwell, who wrote uh, a whole bunch of other kind of early rock and roll songs and classic songs. He wrote Great Balls of Fire. Uh, he wrote Don't Be Cruel, which is another Elvis one. He wrote Return to Sender and also Fever, I believe. So, like, fantastic songwriting, some absolute standards there. And this is how it goes. Capo first fret, A major, D major and E major is how I'm going to demo it, though there are always going to be other ways to play it. Uh, without the capo, but here's a version that's accessible for beginners. Oh well, I bless my soul, what's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man on a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug, I'm in love. I'm all shook up, boo. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for that one, I'm doing uh, this down, mute, up, up, down, up. Down, mute, up, up, down, up. Down, mute. Uh, that's kind of a down motion on the mute. Down, mute on a down motion. Up, up, down, up. And I also want to mention that I, I've also done a video on the version by Paul McCartney, which has a killer riff, still just three chords, but the three chords would be in a different key. It would be E, A, and B, so 12 bar blues in the key of E. The riff goes like this, it's killer. Oh, well, there's my soul, what's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man on a fuzzy tree. Been saying that. As a bug, I'm in love. I'm all shook up, boo. Oh, yay, yay. Really killer, that riff. Love it, absolutely love it. Classic rock and roll. Um, so plenty of options with that one. And remember for these simple songs, especially if you're just strumming them on acoustic guitar, you're in the driver's seat. You can always do your own version of it. It's really important. And there's one other thing that I want to mention in this, because for a lot of these songs, some of them use uh, what we call kind of a straight or normal rhythm, which is where the eight strums are one and two and three and four and. And some of them use swing or have this bounce, one and two and three and four and. 
It's really important if you're at a level where you're learning these songs that you get the difference instinctively because songs are either one or the other, but they're very different to play. And the best example I can give of that is the start of Hound Dog. So the start of Hound Dog goes, you ain't a nothing but a hound dog. You ain't to nothing but a... That's the important thing, the rhythm of that. Da -da 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 -da. It doesn't go, you ain't a nothing but a hound dog, okay? Because that would be a straight rhythm. You ain't a nothing but a... That's not what the original recording of this is. The original recordings, you ain't to nothing but a... Another way I've seen this written is compound time where we've got this bounce uh, versus simple time where it doesn't have this. And it basically means a beat is uh, divided into two for simple time and then divided into three for compound time. There's other things to take into account with that, so I don't want to overcomplicate this too much, but knowing the difference instinctively between simple time and compound time or having uh, no swing and having some swing is really important Hound Dog is a great example of that, impacts all your strumming and everything, and this Hound Dog wants to be with this uh, swing to it, so one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and, so it has swing. Really important that we get that. Another number one song by Elvis Presley uh, with just three chords is Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear. Really simple, but the simple ones are well worth learning because they're quick to learn, we can play along to the original recording, and it's another song under your belt. It's another song in your repertoire. So let's check this one out. Now, if you know the chords C, F, and G major, however you play the F is totally fine. Full bar chord way, or easier F major seven, that would be totally fine. Do a 12 bar blues essentially in the key of C. If those chords are a bit challenging for you, capo third fret and uh, put it in the key of A, and we can play Baby Let Me Be Your Loving Teddy Bear. Baby let me be your loving teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck, lead me anywhere. Oh, let me be. Your teddy bear. Uh, another chord progression in the uh, kind of chorus. I don't want to be a tiger. This tiger's play too rough. I don't want to be a lion. Cause lions ain't the kind you love enough. A really, really simple song, well worth learning. Just follow your chord sheet and do an appropriate rhythm for it. There, I'm doing uh, the same strumming pattern as we were doing in Hound Dog up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, down, up. And a lot of these uh, songs we've covered already could be done with that pattern or just strumming on the beat. Whenever you struggle with any strumming pattern and you want to just play the song, just play on the beat. That's my biggest tip for you guys. The next song on my list goes like this. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything, Billy, half of my blue suede shoes. This one was actually a Carl Perkins song first. He wrote it, Carl Perkins. But Carl Perkins, the start of the song is a little bit different. It still uses just the chords A major, D major, and E major, or strictly the D7 chord. But the start of the Carl Perkins songs, it's kind of a shame because it just stops. It, it's literally got a pause at the start. Well, it's a one for the money. Pause, two for the show. And it really, it kind of cuts the song off at the knees, I think. And I think that, you know, Sam Felix or Elvis or whoever else, you know, they decide to go one for the money, two for the show. And it kicks on so much more. And I feel it's a bit of a shame uh, that the Carl Perkins one doesn't, because I feel he could have made it his own a little bit more if it had gone for that. And we can all make this song our own. That's the great thing about uh, Elvis songs and any three chord songs. They are what you make them. Feel free to do your own little version of them. Make them as complex or as simple as you like. And uh, with this one, I would recommend A major like this, D major and E major. Up, down, down is that start, one for the money. Up, down, down, but then a mute straight after. So one for the money, up, down, down. Two for the show, 
Three to get her ready now, go cat, go, but don't you, is D7, step on my blue suede shoes, A major. E major, you can do anything but lay off my blue suede shoes. All following a 12 bar blues in the key of A. I have a full tutorial for that one. As I do most songs uh, on this list, to be honest, the link to see all of those on one page is at the top of the description. And if you haven't already, if you want to learn loads of songs that are at a level for you that use just the chords you know, just by the artists that you know, check out the songs page on my website, andyguitar.co.uk. I'm sure many of you guys are using this already, but you can search for any song that I've ever done over the last 12 years on YouTube and on my website website by the chords you know by artists that you know and at a level for you by searching difficulty you can even search for things like just ukulele songs and things like that so check that one out if you wish check out my tutorial for this one uh, if you haven't already and let's get on to our next song which is absolutely killer as well jailhouse rock One threw a party at the county jail The prison band was there and they began to wail The band was jumping and the joint began to swing You should have heard them knocked out jailbirds sing Let's rock Everybody let's rock Everybody in the whole cell block Was dancing to the jailhouse rock now, yes, if you're watching carefully there, I have cheated slightly because I'm counting the E flat to the E as one chord, but it's kind of, that's a little riff, right? And it's basically another 12 bar blues in the key of E. So from a learning point of view, it's a 12 bar blues three chord song, but there's a little riff, there's a little power chord bit. Uh, this one's tuned to E flat tuning, but again, I've got a full tutorial on this one. Well worth learning if you love these early rock and roll songs, uh, just watch out for the E flat tuning. But other than that, three standard chords, E, A and B7. Easy solo as well, the solo is not too bad, we can do a bit of it on acoustic guitar. That's the solo of Jailhouse Rock. Another three chord Elvis song that was a number one single um, was Hard Headed Woman. Now this is another uh, 12 bar blues based song, uh, this time in the key of C major, but you can tell the songwriters and, and Elvis himself was trying to do something similar to what Blue Suede Shoes was doing. It's a very similar start at least. It kind of goes, well a hard headed woman, a soft hearted man, been the cause of trouble ever since the world began, oh yeah, ever since the world began. Hard headed woman being a thorn in the side of man. Now, that one, <laughs> lyrically, that song doesn't hold up uh, as well in 2022 when I'm filming this video uh, as many of the other songs. I think lyrically, that's it's very dated, but also the song's just not quite. It was a number one at the time, but this one hasn't had the legacy of some of the others. But it's based on exactly the same stuff. I and mean, just move your capo uh, to the third fret. And you can do the same stuff as you were doing in uh, Blue Suede Shoes, basically. So well worth knowing. The next one um, is Big Hunk of Love. Now this one, I think, really does hold up, uh, but particularly because of the piano intro on the original recording, that... I love me some kind of rock and roll boogie-woogie piano. I really love all, all of that stuff. I can play a little bit of it, but I'm kind of a hack with it, but uh, I just absolutely love it. But uh, Capo third fret, 12 bar blues in the key of A, or 12 bar blues in the key of C if you're going without a capo. Uh, let me play a little bit for you, just to give you an idea. One thing I will say is that A major chord, if any of you guys have slightly larger fingers, which can happen with some of the gentlemen out there, as I'm sure they'll admit, we can just use the first finger to play an A chord like this. We can even get all five strings ringing out with a little kink of the first finger and uh, I'll leave a link up here, um, should I remember, I hope I remember that, to uh, how to play the a, E and A chord with one finger because that's a lesson from the Andy Guitar Beginners course uh, on the website andyguitar.co.uk. It's at level three of that beginners course. Here's the song. Hey baby, I ain't asking much of you. No, 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 baby I ain't asking much of you Just a bigger, bigger, bigger hunk of love Will do 
Now, before I show you uh, the last song that I have on my list, which was actually Elvis's last number one, uh, I do want to give an honourable shout out to Suspicious Minds. It's one of the greatest songs released by the King, and uh, it, the verse of it and the main section. I mean, you know, the live versions of Suspicious Minds go on for about seven to nine minutes, and the whole last five minutes are just these three chords. He's just repeating. We're caught in a trap. I can't walk out because I love you too much, baby. Absolutely quality song, and uh, we can really do just a strumming kind of uh, version of it. For example, why can't you see? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what you doing to me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you don't believe a word I'm saying, really cool that we can do. Like the full song is a strumming version and the song really holds up because it's, it's really good enough. On the original recording of that, we have this riff, which is uh, more advanced or late intermediate level. It does that same riff for all three chords. So this is a C major chord. D major. It's basically a Hendrix style. Kind of cage system. Uh, Hendrix style riff actually doing all that kind of stuff. But we can also do it more open uh, chords which is the way the guys played it live because they were playing it so fast. Do a little bit of picking. You can really do something with Suspicious Minds. I haven't got a tutorial up right now, but I will do very soon. It's absolutely on the list, that one. But that takes me to the last number one single uh, by Elvis Presley, which was Way Down. And Way Down is a return to the three chords, a 12-bar blues-based song, and all his other singles between, like the late 50s and the early 60s to, I mean, there's maybe Suspicious Minds, but all the other number ones, they're, they're all 12 bar blues ones. And this is the only one from the kind of Vegas years, um, apart from maybe Suspicious Minds, but that was super early Vegas years. Way Down is a return to this 12 bar. So there was something, there's something elemental. The point I want to make is something elemental about Elvis himself as an artist, singer, performer in his look, there's something elemental about that and there's something elemental in all the songs he did that just connected. They're just like instant wow factor, instant gratification, instant power. They're like it's, it's just, he was an absolute powerhouse performer and just instantly connected with audiences. And the songs had to do that as well from a songwriting point of view. So I, 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 I thought that was quite interesting, to be honest. So Way Down is again based around a 12 bar blues in the key of C. The, Previous ones that are in the key of C we've done with a capo at third fret, so let me demo this one without a capo. I'm just going to demo it with the chords C, F and G. And a strummed example of this song would be like this. Babe, you're getting closer, the lights are going dim, the sound of your breathing made the mood I'm in. So the four chord of which is F in this case. All of my resistance lying on the floor, taking me to places I've never been before. That's kind of the end of the 12 bar blues section. Then we have a more standard bridge and chorus. Oh, I can feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Way down where the music plays Way down like a tidal wave Way down where the fires blaze Way down, down We all know <laughs> It's kind of a, it's got a really disco mix to it But again, it is a three chord song But I also wanted to mention that it is kind of a return to those early blue songs that he, he, he made his name with and were the first half of his number ones really 
from a songwriting point of view and from a chords point of view. So I hope you enjoyed that. You can check out chord sheets and plenty of tutorials for all 10 of these songs that we've covered at the top link of the description on YouTube and I'll make sure there's, it's really clear where it is on my website. Thank you for checking out this video. You'll find more songs at andyguitar.co.uk and you can search for those songs by your level, by the chords you know. We've made it as easy as possible and I hope you'll check that out and I'll see you next time. But don't you Step on my blue suede shoes You can do anything really hard for my blue suede shoes